Hi, I'm Heinbach and it's good to have you back. This is my second video on the forgotten sins of Marke region. Check out the first one in the link above. In this episode, I will cover one of the rarest and most groundbreaking drum machines of all time. This is the Echo Computer Reading, first programmable drum machine in the world. It was made in 1972. It is the first drum machine in history to use the system of 16 steps to program the patterns. Six lines of 16 steps, individual volume for every line, and the choice of two different instruments for every line. You can wipe the line individually or globally. It uses this very ingenious uh, system uh, to, to store pattern. Punch cards, like in the computers of the time. There is a, an optical reader, there is the position of every shot on the, on the line, so you can write back the pattern when you need it. And it's very, very ingenious. Think how much this machine was ahead of its time. Because this system to program writings, it was adopted by Roland in 1980 with the 808, eight years later. It was a very strange machine with a strange look. It was also used in many of uh, science fiction B movies in the 70s, like the panel for the, uh, the spaceship. It was a little known, and neither the creator recorded to have made it. His name is Aldo Pacci. He was a, a technician and a chief engineer in, at ECHO. He was responsible for the electronic instruments at the time, together with Giuseppe Censori, that is responsible for the design of the machine and for the system of the punch cards. Urbano Mancinelli, that was responsible for the PCBs of this machine. I said, but you don't remember the arm? I think no, maybe. And the wife said, but uh, yes, Aldo, it's the machine with the uh, orange buttons on, <laughs> on, the, on the front. Ah, maybe, maybe, I could, I could uh, remember. But Aldo, are you aware that you invented the 16-step uh, pattern programming system? that is used worldwide in every, in every instrument since the early 80s. He was not aware of the importance of his invention. He made some footage with an interview with all the team uh, that made the, the machine uh, for a documentary that we hope, we hope to, to release very, very soon. The machine was very, very expensive at the time, made in an artisanal way. It's not industrial production. I think they made uh, not more than 50, 60 that uh, are spread in uh, four series. A prototype, the first series, the second series, and the last one, the, the, this. Among the famous musicians that use the, the computer rhythm are Jean-Michel Jarre, that used the uh, oxygen, and the Manuel Goching of Ashra Temple. Tangerine Dream, someone argue, uh, argues that uh, it's the same machine that belonged to Manuel Goching. The marketing from ECO about this machine is was not so good. After a few years, they stopped the production. Nowadays, uh, only 15 are calculated to be in, uh, in circulation. It was completely restored by Marco Molendi. The front was not uh, affected by the time because it, has, it, it, it had the, 
cover, but uh, on the back there were no no panel, so it was uh, it has been recreated by Marco Morelli. When uh, I brought it to the creator Aldo Paci said me um, I put a, a more con a condenser more on the noise circuit because because in this way it sounds better after uh, all this time the creator had uh, the stimulus the intuition to to improve a little the project to make it sound better can i play it yes sounds and loops from this beautiful instrument join my patreon there's a sound pack waiting there for you as well as the track i played at the end patreon is how i'm able to travel and make time for all these videos so consider supporting what i do there playing this instrument was a lot of fun thanks to it being beautifully restored it felt like i was playing a new unit the interface is so clear logical and musical <laughs> i would love to program all my drums with it there was one thing I had to try with the echo computer rhythm. I wanted to make it drone. 